Did you ever see that movie where everything changes? Is it Inception? This is like next level, next level. Today, we are deep frying a steak in thousand dollars worth of what you fed. Did you guys see that Guga video where he deep fried a brisket in Wagyu fat? That made me think we have the fat left over from a thousand dollar brisket. <laughs> Can you imagine what we're going to do with that? We are going to do an amazing experiment using all that fat that came out of the brisket. This is a beautiful Wagyu steak. It costs a small fortune, and that is the subject that we want to deep fry today. But since we got all that fat, I didn't just want to deep fry a steak. We already tried that, and it worked out. Actually, we got a great crust on it. So I kind of know where that's going. But why not try more? So I also have this and this. I'm gonna give you the best way that I know of to fry chicken wings. We're taking these chicken wings and we're dusting them with an amazing barbecue rub. Then we'll put them on a Napoleon barbecue and smoke them with some whiskey barrel chips. Then grill them, dust them with flour, and once our fat is up to temperature of 180 degrees Celsius, we're gonna fry the chicken wings. You can smell the beef fat, you can smell. Well, I think I'm actually smelling Wagyu here, but I'm definitely smelling the smoked beef fat. Mmm. Mmm. That's so interesting. The first whiff that I got was absolutely beef fat and smoked, but when I bit into it, it mellowed down and the flavor of the rub really popped out on the chicken. Juicy, crispy, tender chicken. Absolutely amazing. Now let's move on to the second test. We're making schnitzel out of a heritage Levar pig. Toss it in flour, egg and bread crumbs with barbecue rub. Fried to perfection. And of course we had to add some fries. I think this is gonna be the best one. It's not, I'm not from schnitzel country. That's Germany or Austria, but you know, I love my schnitzels. And especially when they're made properly, like this. Are you ready for this? Oh my God, this is literally insane. Really? This is literally unlike any other schnitzel I ever had. Mm. You can taste that it's like a more rich fat that is fried in, but you can't actually taste that it's wacky. So if you use beef tallow, just ordinary beef tallow, you couldn't tell the difference. You think they're ready, Morrison? For what? For the final one. The one that you've all been waiting for. I got my steak knife ready. So without further ado, we're gonna eat this beautiful Wagyu deep fried steak in Wagyu fat out of a thousand dollar brisket. Mmm, tastes like Wagyu. <laughs> I love open doors. I love open doors. This is an A5 Japanese BMS 12 Wagyu steak. And, and we just deep fried it in smoked brisket beef tallow. And not just any, a thousand dollar brisket beef tallow. It's like, this is like next level, next level. It's crazy. Deep frying in Wagyu fat with, wow. An insane steak. We raised it up to 200 degrees Celsius with the beef fat. 
would I prefer this way or cast iron way? I definitely have cast iron as my main preference. And do I taste the smoked beef fat from the brisket? No, no, I can't say that I do. I definitely get a hint of smokiness, but the main thing is the Wagyu. The A5 BMS12 Wagyu steak is just insane. This is insane. I love it. Marshall, come. It's so soft. Wow. <laughs> wow. That is something. I wonder how it was when we, if we didn't deep fry it. How it would have been. I think, I think it's amazing. And I think it do, the deep frying doesn't take away from the Wagyu experience. This is like... It doesn't take away. No. Really good. No. I'm gonna go for the schnitzel then. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Leave me half. Yeah, yeah, I'm leaving you half. That's something else. Mm. I think I'm tasting the beef fat. I think chi frying chicken, perfect. Frying pork meat, like a schnitzel, perfect. Frying Wagyu steaks, it doesn't add that much. It's not, no. It's no. not the same added value. It was insane, but it's a Wagyu. Yeah, and it, it was already great. So we didn't improve it by much, but we did improve the, the schnitzel and we did improve the, the chicken. Okay, but it's not much, but it's there. Yeah, it's definitely not worth smoking a brisket, getting the fat out and then frying just for the purpose of having a thousand dollar brisket wagyu fat. Otherwise it would be a waste. Now we put it to good use no. and we enjoyed it. Wow. Wow. I got some skills, bro. Mm. You should make some of my recipes. Hey, I like your head. Thanks. I like yours. Yeah? Yeah. It's new. You should close off. It's already happened. Really? Some, yeah. I think the editor already killed us. <laughs> but you gotta thank the patrons at least. I did, didn't I? Thank you, you patrons. Thank you, YouTube members. Sorry if I forgot. Hmm. I'm just gonna stand here and eat. Perfect meal.